Uh, we found out Rashid's not going to be able to play in the game, obviously, the broken toe he's been dealing with for a long time. As just a fellow receiver, like, what can you say about his season, kind of what he you know, gave to you, you know, what he went through to, to finish the season and keep playing? Uh, that man's a warrior. Um, I saw him come in every day, uh, deal with injuries and still practice, still play. You saw the body of work uh, throughout the season. Uh, you know, it's, it's just part of it. Uh, he's got a future. He's got to look out for his interests, and, and that's, I wouldn't, I'm not mad at him for it. Nobody's mad at him for it. We're happy that he's in that position to be able to do that. Um, as far as uh, the receiver room, it's, it's next man up. We're, you know, that's how we get down. We've, we've dealt with injuries all year, uh, moving pieces around, people around. Um, that's, just, that's just how it goes. It's a game. We'll, we'll be fine. You get a bigger opportunity because of that, too. I mean, what does it mean for your final game to have that type of a showcase opportunity, too? Uh, you know, it'd be great to go out with, with one, one, uh, one final this great game. But if we win, that's all I'm really worried about. I'm not, I'm not too concerned about uh, personal stats or anything like that. I just want to win. Um, I haven't won a bowl game since, since I've been here. Uh, so that's the most important thing to me. You haven't even gotten to play the last couple of years because no. of the circumstances. How yeah. gratifying is it just to cap off the year this yeah, way? Yeah, just to be able to, to actually play the game will be uh, will be pretty special. It's been a while since we've been able to take a trip. Uh, I think 2019 was the last last time we played in a bowl game. So to to actually play will be will be fun. It should be a great experience. Uh, hopefully, the guys have a lot of fun when we get out to Albuquerque. Um, going back to that 2019 one, obviously it wasn't the performance you guys wanted. Do some of the guys that were around, do you guys say something like, hey, like we weren't in the right, you know? Yeah, we, yeah we've had conversations uh, throughout the week, um, making sure that doesn't happen again. Uh, we just didn't show up ready to play, and, and that can't happen this this year. So we're all in on, on being focused and, and ready by game time. As somebody who spends the whole game running up and down the field, when's the last time you played at high elevation, and is that a concern? Um... Man, I haven't, I haven't played in elevation. I played a baseball tournament in like 2015 in uh, Arizona, but that's about the last time. Uh, hopefully we get out there early enough to kind of acclimate. Everybody's hydrating and, and on top of their nutrition. Um, that's just part of the game. Uh, we can't make excuses. We, can, I mean, that's just how it goes. Um, yeah. What's the just curious, what's the worst environment, like, weather-wise, you've played out of <laughs> It's got to be one of those Navy games, man. Uh, God, I want to say either 2018 or 2019, we played at Navy, and it was towards the end of the year, and the water was, or the wind was blowing in off the water. It was, it was snowing. It was, I was miserable. <laughs> it was hard. It was a tough one. It gets cold out there, but hopefully it's a... Uh, with the altitude and everything, it's a drier cold, so uh, won't be. Won't, Dallas cold is different than like than, than cold out there. Uh, I, I've spent some time in Colorado, like in the winters, so I, I kind of know what it's like. But to play football is a, is a whole different animal. So we'll see. Is, is, there, is there an element to when you're playing where it's like you kind of get an adrenaline and you're kind of not thinking about it, or is it yeah, like definitely hard not to. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, there's lulls in the game where. Or you, you might think oh, it's kind of kind of cold, but you kind of got to kick that intrusive thought out mm -hmm. and and just stay focused on the mission at hand, which is winning the game, playing the game. If you let the the weather affect you, then that's just one more thing you have to, to overcome. Mm -hmm. Coach at uh, BYU does a good job of keeping everything in front of them. Um, you guys have faced some defenses that you know yeah. dictate that. I mean, how value valuable is that experience against those defenses and then how do you guys continue to just kind of stay patient stay with it if, if that's what you guys end up get, getting uh, yeah this group's battle tested we've seen we've seen some defenses that just like to drop eight and try to keep everything in front of tcu uh, tulsa uh, ucf did it to us some um so we're used to it. we're prepared we, we know we're gonna have to be patient and when our shots come we gotta hit them because uh, we're gonna take our shots it doesn't we're not we're gonna play how we play we're not gonna let them dictate what we do. Um, we're going to play our game. So. What have you noticed from just, I mean, there was a point where you guys were three and four, and obviously you have done well enough to get to seven and five. I mean, previous years, you guys started hot, you know, kind of 
that low. I guess what difference have you noticed in the team since maybe the, you were three and four and now you're kind of going to a bowl game like this? Um, I would say it, it had a lot to do with the off season. We are we set our intentions on finishing, um, and the season how it ha hasn't gone how we expected it to. And that happens sometimes. Um, but I'm proud of this team for how we continue to fight. We show up every week and, and nobody lays down. And yeah, to, to see us finish uh, November 3-1 and one was, was huge. Uh, SMU hasn't done that in a long time. So that was important, um, kind of just changing, changing the past, you know, not making the same mistakes. Awesome.